Hello, everybody. Jose Mercado here. Uh, uh, very excited to come back to you uh, with, with a video, uh, this time by myself. It's a uh, very first time doing a video by myself. Terrifying. <laughs> um, yeah, I uh, recently joined FOE, so uh, very excited. Very good leadership so far. Uh, and uh, yeah, so this, there was a couple tournaments that I played on. I played in the Carta, Carta tournament last week, got top 32. 25th or 24th to be exact. Uh, played in the Oceania uh, regionals as well. Uh, got ninth place there. And uh, in the, also this past weekend on the PPG event uh, where I got top 32 as well. Uh, got 25th, I think, as well. Um, so uh, I used the same deck. I used red, blue launch. There's the player. Here we go. Okay. Uh huh. Red, blue launch. So let's get right into it. Uh, before we move into it, actually. Uh, the deck actually kudos to uh, to Frisco Foss. He is the creator and the mastermind behind this. I am just a pilot. I just give feedback after the decks are made, after I get experience, and uh, I help fine tune. But everything goes to Frisco. Frisco is the the main, the brilliant mind behind this. So let's adjust the camera real quick for you guys. And let's do this. So a uh, little bit of launch, straightforward. Uh, she, every time that she combos uh, once per turn, she can draw a card. Uh, and then every time you flip a life, uh, you get to draw a card and flip this card, right? Uh, you start, uh, flip this card over. And the backside says the same thing, except for the fact that also when this card, when she, you swing on this side, you get to choose any of all your opponent's cards and give it minus five. This includes unison, which people forget. So actually, this is a really good matchup against uh, Demigra Unison uh, decks, green decks, because you can actually swing at Demigra and potentially be taking two counters from it. A uh, little bit of reminder, the minus five wouldn't uh, allow Demigra to take life just because Demigra has to take life when a counter is taken by battle. But still, it's really good to like put them in the pressure of like, Okay, I can swing a leader, minus five to Demigra. So now that you, uh, usually if it's at the turn one or turn two where they already have an active uh, counterplay, uh, Charismatic Frieza, uh, you uh, you can ruin their plans. You can foil their plans pretty easily. But further ado, let's talk about the core of the deck. We have all of our car flippers. We have the SR, we have the Prama, and we have Bulma. Right, these the job of these these cards are to move the deck. So, because they you come up with them, they enable you to flip a life, allowing you to flip back and forth from uh, for your leader. The SR is the strongest one of them, just because when you combo with her, she goes to the drop to the drop, right? But you can also combo her from the drop area as long as you're on the five k. Uh, on the 5k uh, side um, this is really strong right because especially when you're on the receiving end uh, when you uh, when you go first uh, you can actually use this card on turn one to combo and now you you can use another the flippers and you can save this for a an emergency in case that you don't see your other uh, flippers plus uh, sometimes players players forget that you actually flip every turn every time uh, sometimes they keep they forget to keep count of whether you have an SR on the drop or not. So it's really cool when uh, their awaken their unawakened side swings as you and they just don't combo, and you actually combo this from the drop area, then you get to flip and now you're 15k automatically. So now you're back to like a conventional leader. So it's really cool, really cool about that. Um, we we have been uh, focusing on 11. 11 has been the math mathematically uh and it's statistically a feasible number for drawing them effic efficiently although you know like any any deck uh we're playing uh any deck that we play in card games sometimes you get i get to not see them the frisco never has this issue for some reason i i, I have that issue uh, a little bit often um probably it's the way that i shuffle or something um anyways uh ratios why ratios right so uh, SR, because it's the most important card in the deck, because it's, it counts like a double flipper card. Bulma, 
is very important because she's a cantrip, right? When you you can actually play her for one and you get to draw a card. Uh, the promo is really cool because if you have her in play, you can actually leave off something when you combo. So uh, utility really good to get rid of those pesky uh, dark power Masayans or those blockers that uh, some other decks do. Uh, that in combination with your front leader attack of uh, plus uh, ma minus five, you can get rid of like counters from the Migra again, right? So, um, and now you cannot even hit uh, uh, them, uh, unisons that have counters to, that they're 10, 10k power. So, because you get plus five, uh, minus five here, minus five here, and they, they can choose any uh, of your opponent's battle cards. So, um, this is, uh, for example, uh, for one of the of the leaders that was really, really, really cool was against Vajex. So Vajex, they, especially the version that runs like the winnings, the one drops, uh, super, super helpful to you just play this guy for one, uh, for one, you combo your other pieces uh, to get value and you remove uh, pieces from the board. Also against Red Broly. Red Broly, if they, if they get greedy and they keep their, their boss, or actually they put two boss in play, so that means that you can combo something, you can swing with this, give minus one to one ba, and then combo something, and then give a second ba minus five, minus five as well. So it's really cool. It's it's something that doesn't come up that often, honestly, because you really, if you wanna, you wanna, this is a tap out deck, right? So if you wanna use your energy, it has to be very smart, uh, and you wanna get value out of it because you're really small in terms of power, so you're always gonna be using your hand. So that's why uh, normally play one for the bull map or even if you want to have an instant removal thing at, at that point. Um, another reason why the promo, it's pretty cool to have it is that, uh, like I said, we're in a rival deck. We're going to be tapping out a lot. So our, our rival targets are the red blue ones. So we're going to have Hercule blue. Uh, most, most of you know what it, what it does, but I'll repeat it just in case. Uh, it's a rival blue. When it comes into play, you draw a card and then you, min you give minus 10 to any any battle card. Uh, doesn't ignore barrier, it's really important. Um, so, and then at the end of the turn, you get to bounce any blue or red card in your field, except any cards of himself. So if you arrival two of them, they cannot choose, uh, uh, choice, uh, choose each other. So you have to choose another card. So essentially the idea is that you can uh, play them together and you can get to bounce uh, the, the cooler. Now, uh, the other target, the cooler, we're going to talk about it, uh, just in case you're not familiar with the card. Uh, it has a rival uh, for, for one red, boo, uh, Hercule boost for one blue. One red, 20k, double strike. Uh, comes into play, it debuffs two cards for minus uh, 10k, it, mil it makes you mill a card. Uh, really, really cool, especially on mirror matches or decks that mill a lot. Uh, I actually had, uh, I played against uh, Bajex, where this came in, this came in very uh, useful. So the the player actually uh, had, did overwhelm uh, kind of late on the game. So he was close to not getting to twenty cards in the in the mill uh, in the drop to uh, trigger the sparking. So I was actually able to uh, mill him. So uh, pretty pretty cool because uh, he forgot and then he actually activated his thing. So this uh, was very. Uh, interesting to see that it was an, an option to actually win the game so something something that is not uh it's not something that is you're going to be your win con all the time but it's it's cool to have right it's just it's utility um discard how we're going to do our rivals super combos if you're a super combo is you know uh you guys know it for because i'm invoker so we're basically uh using the same utility we're tapping out we're gonna open energy, draw cards, and uh, use arrival. Okay, a uh, little bit of tech, not that groundbreaking, but very useful. Uh, basically, this is just a swap for your five draw cooler. Uh, he is activate battle one blue. You can bounce back your your blue red uh, cooler five drop, and then every time this battle card uh, en enters uh, battle. You get to combo with a blue, a blue card, uh, a red blue uh, battle card from the drop area, meaning your super combos, right? Or, or your, even your even your coolers or your boosts. Uh, so, offensively, if you ha let's say that let's say that you ran out of uh, your flipper flipper cards, 
Uh, so you can actually swing with cooler and and still get at least one draw from uh, from your from your attack, right? And you can then you can actually trigger another arrival if you need to. Now defensively is when it's actually really really good because if they make the mistake to swing at it, he's always at 25k, right? Because he has you're gonna have to combo. It's a 25k that he's gonna draw your card and open you an energy, a dual color energy, right? So really really good. Uh, we started with four. Decided little by little we started cutting it just because there's decks that you don't want to be arriving too much because you want to you want to keep a presence. But it's really good against decks that they uh, build like a a, a barrier uh, field. So uh, like for example the Magic Vegeta where they put the 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 Sinobu, uh and you have to pitch two cards if you swing at your at the leader without swinging at him. Uh, this is really good because right? you go cooler arrival, bounce it back, open energy, and uh, and do it again. So it's pretty cool. You can get rid of it. Okay. Again, uh, cool tech, cool tech, not uh, not that groundbreaking, but then now this is the part that it's uh, uh, we made a decision because uh, now we're doing best of one, so it's a really good surprise for for most people. Uh, I almost always get the same surprise when I, I charge the same response from people when I charge that uh, this one of these cards on turn one is like, oh, no, or oh, crap, you know, um, why did I say I'm best of one? Because best of one, you don't have a lot of time to respond to things, right? And you don't have the flexibility to, to play hate, right? So playing the... The the cat blow package it automatically puts your opponent on a on a clock. That means that on turn five they could potentially lose the game. Um, so we play four rival seekers. We play uh, two six uh, six drop Goku's, which I'm actually considering putting back to three, uh, putting to three I should say. Uh, cat blow uh, we actually you originally used to play three. Uh, now because of how. Uh, the insurgence of uh, Blue Baby, the insurgence of decks that want to stall you, uh, like like Slug, uh, to mill you out. So uh, it's really good to have just a, a the option to just, okay, I'm just going to burn you from 6 to 0 on the same turn. Very, very powerful. Um, so if you have 6 energy, you can actually play 2 of these guys and 2 of these guys and then uh, go for game. Uh, kill them from 6 to 0. So that's in case that you are pass really passive uh, passive player, uh, this is an option. So this is one of the things that I like about the decks, where you have the choice to be very aggressive early on and be be go Jesus take the wheel with just arriving and have a big presence and putting pressure with twenty k dual strikes, uh, or or just relax and play the game and just play defensive and then when it, you start playing the game on turn five or end the game on turn five turn six, okay, uh, really really cool. Uh, now you, you're thinking, man, but drawing the cab blows suck, a hundred percent suck, right? So we had to adjust for that because we have, we're a best of one. So we, we have no time to, to have those cards like breaking us right in our hand. So this is where these cards come in. The Frieza, almost nobody remembers this card, uh, because you know, it was not valuable until, uh, for Invoker. Uh, so basically all it is, it's, uh, you combo it. And you get to look uh, at your deck and look for an extra card and put it in your drop area. Basically, you're tutoring your cap blow from your from the, your deck to the to the drop area, setting up your play for turn five. Fantastic, right? And this was the latest addition. Uh, shout out to uh, Richard Sapp, right, giving the 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 tech. Uh, actually, wait, now when now you want you like to draw your your cap blows, right? Because now we're playing four, so there's no problem. So this card, uh, it says that uh, when you combo with her, uh, you can actually uh, pitch an extra card from your hand, and it gains an additional 6k. So this is a 11k, which is in this game is almost like a 15k. This is really cool. Um, you combo with her, launch lets you draw a card, you pitch, you pitch it, and now you're a a 21k. Pretty cool, right? So really important. Uh, we decided to go to three. We used to run two. Uh, so we remove some of the coolers to make space for for these cards. So, okay, let's get rid of this real quick. Um, we use the secret that we our choice is the the uh, the uh, Supreme Kai. 
for those that don't know what it does, uh, it's activate battle, you play it for one. Uh, and whenever you play it, if it's your opponent's turn, your opponent cannot swing with unison or, uh, or leader. Why is it important? Again, we're a tap-out deck. So we can actually open energy on the opponent's turn. Uh, and you can, play, you can play for one energy. And if, if they, they get greedy and they swing with the, your, their battle card first, you can just open energy, play it, and now they lost the opportunity to draw a card for turn from the leader. And also swing with the with the unison, because which is what you want, right? Because you're a you debuff you're a debuff deck, a rival deck, so that means that you cannot target leaders and you cannot target uh, unisons uh, on your arrival on the arrival mechanic. So really cool. Uh, also, is the your universal removal tool when they have a pesky unison like for blue, uh, that keeping you from doing. Uh, Doing your rival seeker on turn five, you can play her and then uh, remove remove uh, their field uh, from the board by paying one energy. So really strong card, really good card. No wonder it's five hundred dollars. But um, then, uh, like I said, it's a uh, we're a tap out deck, so we need more choices on how to open deck, uh, open the uh, energy. So Sensu Bean gets us there. Pretty straightforward. Everybody loves Sensu Bean, especially Trey. Uh, uh, my negative choice is Violent Race because I, I'm a I'm a low power uh, leader, so I need to have defense against uh, big attackers, especially big boards of big attackers. So pretty straightforward there. Then uh, pieces of tech because of one uh, because of best of one, make it Kabura. So uh, this rewards players that have very good knowledge of the meta and very good knowledge of the of the decks that are being played against. So you can just call their their uh, their win con. For example, uh, if I know I'm, pl I'm playing against uh, baby deck, uh, blue deck, uh, then I know that, I, that what that what can kill me is turning the tide. So I, get, I call, you know, Andre 17 with the cost of seven and now they can play. So really good for stalling, stalling decks that had only one trick pony. Uh, like the Red Broly, for example, if you go uh, you go first on turn two, you you cast it and you call the three drop uh, Broly BR. Now they're screwed. Now they cannot go through the chain. They have to wait one more turn. So it's fantastic when you're missing pieces for your your win con of the of Cablo. So you can stall a little bit more, or if you can st you can stop combo decks from from uh, going going. Uh, you force them into going out of their way to play the game differently. Um, removal. Extra removal, uh, panic button in case that they have a big board. Uh, this is very dangerous in the deck because like we talked about a lot of stuff, you need to have your board. Uh, you have to have your drop for to function. You need to have your, your cap blows so you can combo your rival seeker from the hand for free. So very dangerous card, but it has paid, paid uh, dividends. Most of the time I just combo it away. When I know that I it's too late in the game and I, I won't be able to build uh, uh, more red blue cards battle cards in my my drop area so um but it's really good to remove like uh big like uh, against fedex removing the uh a bunch of one drops or, or whatnot so uh just piece of tech uh i don't think it's it's truly essential but it's been really helpful uh mr champa or the guy i'm always a fan of the guy i don't know i like the art better <laughs> and i but i you know i always call it i call it the old strike whatever um Best of one is a big surprise, right? We're playing a Seeker Rare that, you know, uh, we, we launch, we draw so much that we see it all the time. Um, so 40, uh, 50, 50K double strike is this. It, it actually stole a couple games that way just because it was a big surprise. So also really cool that if they're at, uh, at seven life and you go double strike 30K, they're like, I'm at seven life, I'm gonna take it. Then on turn five, you burn them five to zero. It's like, oh crap, I should have taken the double strike. So. Uh, good uh, mind games there. And finally, which is my favorite tech, uh, and this is shout outs to Mr. Mr. Coombs, Mr. Brushes, Matt Coombs. Uh, he, he wanted us to be playing the Unison for, in, for the longest time. The Sin Channel Unison for, forever. Um, finally decided to put it in and he's done so much work. It matches like hat check because you need an extra swing. Uh, uh, the unison goes around the hat check effect that you can only swing once with battle cards that are uh, seven cards or lower. Uh, so
So very, very strong. Uh, the removal effect, it goes in conjunction with your leader swing as well. So now you can remove things that are 20K, uh, 20, uh, 20K or less. Um, and the main thing is he's a 20K, right? So most people are not going to swing to him because they just don't want to spend cards. So it's, it's really cool in that sense that they have to just respect it. They have to, you know, suck it up um, because then it keeps getting bigger and now you get to see their hand and now you get to structure your turn. It, you know, if you got a, st a stall or, or anything. So, um, yeah, this is actually my favorite card on the on the whole deck in terms of tech because I always wanted to play the, the unison because I think it's really strong. The fact that you can uh, so cheaply, you can do so, so many full effects. Uh, and the fact that you can actually attack permanence now. So the stuff, the pesky barrier stuff, now you can swing at it. So um, after your arrival uh, with coolers, you make them 10Ks and now launch can swing at them as well. So uh, thank you very much for listening. Again, uh, this is my very first video. So <laughs> feel free to give me any feedback or whatever. Uh, but I'm very excited. It, hopefully it's the first one of many and uh, hopefully... Uh, these events were very meaningful to me because I'm finally getting the rust out of <laughs> getting back into competitive because uh, of COVID and stuff. I've been just uh, laying low and whatnot. So, again, thank you very much. Always a pleasure. Uh, you guys take care. Cheers.